as well. In the vendor cycle, we're gonna say purchase order. I am ordering a purchase. I order you to give me these guitars. We're gonna go from, from this is gonna be a new vendor. We're gonna set up as we go called Fender. Fender's the new vendor, which sounds, it kind of rhymes. So I'm gonna say it a lot because I like saying it. Fender is our new vendor. I'm gonna tab that over. I'm not gonna put all the other stuff in here. We're just gonna put the required field at this point. This is a form that typically we would be emailing and therefore we might wanna customize it. We might need the email and so on, but I'm not gonna go into the detail for the practice problem purposes here. And then we're gonna to go to the ship to, if we were gonna give it to a customer directly, we can select the customer changing the shipping address to the customer, but that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the new guitars here for us. And then we're gonna say this is on 020223, and there's the information there. And then down below, we're gonna add the item as we go. So we're not in the categories here, we're in the items because we're purchasing inventory items. We're gonna set up a new item as we enter the purchase order because this is a new this is a new vendor we haven't ordered anything from this so we're going to call it an sq i'm just going to say that's going to be it so i'm going to add our item for this sq type of guitar it's an inventory item we're going to be tracking the inventory in the system tracking the units not just the dollar amount so i want to pick the inventory name populating let's tab on through to the other side tab on through I'm not gonna put a number. If we wanted a picture of it, we can take a picture of it, which can actually be useful. We could put a category, maybe guitar categories if we wanted to, but I'm not going to here. And then down here, we got the amount, uh, initial quantity. You have to put something here because it's a required field. It's gonna basically always be zero unless you unless you first start the company file typically. And then you gotta put a start date. I'm just gonna say the beginning of the year, reorder point. I'm just gonna say zero on that inventory is the account that's gonna go up when we purchase it, not with the purchase order, but when we populate the in the bill from the purchase order when we receive the guitars. Description, I'm gonna call it a Squire. It's a Squire guitar. I'm, I'm not like a guitar expert, although I have one, I've got, well, I got a couple guitars, but I'm certainly not a guitar expert. We're just making this stuff up because guitars are cool. And so we're gonna say the sales price is 244. And so, and then it's gonna to go to the sale of product income account, like all the other sale of product stuff. It's got the taxable item is on. So I'm gonna do the standard tax that I'm just gonna keep that. I'm gonna copy the Squire down here to be on the purchase forms as well. This description was on the sales forms that will be on the invoices and sales receipt. This one's on the purchase form, which will be the purchase order, also the bill or the expense form if we were to use those. And then the cost, I'm gonna say it's 168. That's how much we buy them for. That means it's gonna be populating here on the purchase order for the 168, not the sales price, the 244. And the cost of goods sold is the account impacted when we make a sales type of document, invoice or sales receipt. That's the expense related to us consuming the inventory at that point for uh, revenue generation for the sale of the guitar. Preferred vendor is Fender. The preferred vendor is Fender. Why? Because it rhymes. That's why I prefer it. Why else would you prefer something? All right, so then we got the Squires populating. Looks good. Mui B to the end quantity. I'm going to say we're going to get 20 of them. 20 Squires. And then we're going to purchase them for a particular customer. So I'm going to make a new customer called New Music, music Stuff very creative name that's the that's the customer so i'm going to say just add it add it add it like an addict add stuff so we're going to say there it is so what's that so no remember the customer is not necessary for the vendor our new vendor fender doesn't really care about our new customer new music stuff but i want to put the customer on the purchase order so that when i get the stuff, the guitars, the Squire guitars from the new vendor, Fender, then we can turn around and sell it, uh, making an invoice at that point. So there we go, let's go ahead and save it. And, and we can of course cancel it, clear it, print it if we want. If you wanted to preview it, 
this is what it's going to look like this is a form that goes to the external user so you might want to this is a form that you can customize and add your logo to and all that kind of stuff make reoccurring we have the more option copy delete our audit history we can either save new save send which is often what you would do if you had an email address but we're going to save it and close it 